NBK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. You can hear the roar here in Oklahoma City. It's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Seattle Supersonics. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Now Sacramento starting five. First points of the night, and here we go. Well, great start for this one. Setting the tone right away with that bucket. McMillan against Richmond. Outside for Simmons. Out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. Well, he's obviously anticipating different movement there. And instead of an easy connection, the pass sails straight into the front row. And they double up eight. Here's Pierce. And he dunks it down. That's how it's done, Bill. Don't pass to a player. You pass to a spot. Let your teammate run into it. Here's Webb. Seattle grabs the miss. Here's McMillan. Here's Kemp. And it's blocked by Simmons. Here's Richmond. Basket is good. The assist from Webb. Wow, what a crafty player. Gets it done any way he has to. For Seattle, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's McMillan. He doesn't hit that one. Richmond with the defensive effort. Webb with it. Pass to Richmond. Webb against Peyton. Six on the shot clock. Simmons on the wing. The shot. No good. And it's the Sonics taking it the other way. Passes it to Benjamin. Right wing. Peyton, right side. Pass to Kemp. Shoots over Webb. And he gets the friendly spin in that one box. Check out that assist. You can tell a player who's seeing the whole floor very well. Richmond outside. Knocks it loose. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And racing up the board, you, you have a number of options and a great decision there. I love how he took the initiative, right? You took charge of the opportunity and made the right decision. There are so many great open floor players in this game. Who would be the scariest player coming at you on the fast break? Kevin, I can't limit this to just one. Are you kidding me? How would you like to have LeBron James bearing down on you at 6'8", 250 plus pounds? Or the length of Giannis Antetokounmpo, who can cover from one end of the floor in the other in four or five strides? How about Russell Westbrook's meet me at the cup and he can dunk on my head? Or the young, talented Donovan Mitchell. I don't want any part of any one of those guys. Great name from your right. Run away for a trans, each of them. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Richmond right side. The 15-footer. Good. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper. First bucket of the day. A pretty good way to start the game, right? The defense has to be more aggressive, keeping him away from that area of the floor, or it's going to be a long night. For Seattle, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. One of the worst in the league a season ago, just 72%. Characteristic trip to the line for him, just lost his speed on those shots. Then the guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw. That That is inexcusable. The Kings trail by nine. Brown outside. Forty seconds left here in the opening quarter. That one goes. Count it.
35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Up top, Kemp. The pass to Johnson. Kicks to Kemp. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Just five on the clock. It's hauled in by Brock. Boy, a kick out's probably a better option when the defense is swarming around like that. And here's Richmond over Johnson. And so it's Seattle bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be back with you shortly. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, guys, what do you think about what we've seen so far from the Super Sonics? I mean, so far, that they're not settling for outside shots, really attacking the paint. I think that's what you've got to do, right? If the looks on the interior are there, you have got to attack. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court for Seattle, we've got McKee. Kemp is out there with Johnson, and it's Cage in at the four shot. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Seven-point differential. He kicks to Bottom. Richmond outside. Seven-foot shot. That's tipped. good he scores that's his first basket after missing his first two attempts now one for three and they've been looking out of sync offensively yeah the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill brown outside here's bonner goes up and lays it nice and time easy. Out, out. And, and you just hate to give up those second chance points well, you better be more physical on the glass because they wanted that rebound more than them. Plain and simple. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Now here's Peyton. Many feet out. Yes, that goes in. Peyton's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. The Kings have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And he just leaves the D in the dust and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? And he can blame it on a terrible defensive breakdown, one that could possibly swing the momentum here. And soft on the front of the rim and drops. Peyton's got four this quarter. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper, just not really closing out as much as they need to. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Doris, when you talk about coaching, aside from wins and losses, how can you gauge if a coach is doing a good job? Well, you make a great point, Kevin. Because if an organization is in a rebuild situation, then winning is almost impossible because you're outgunned and outmanned every single night. So to evaluate those coaches, here are the things I would look at. One, are you maximizing the talent at your disposal? Are your player development skills at such a degree that you're seeing incremental improvement from the guys on your roster? And then ultimately, Kevin, are guys playing hard? Are they competitive every night, even if the wins don't necessarily show in the box score and at the end of the, you know, the regular season? The reality is, are you playing hard? Are you competitive? One shot. Here's Peyton. He has seven. Here's the two drop. It's tipped. against McMillan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Kings have made two of the previous three free throws in today's game. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And he's good on the second. 
And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Peyton looking around. Richmond with the steal. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Drops in the breakaway layup. Richmond's got five points now in the quarter. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. McMillan kicks to Pierce. With the fadeaway. That one good for two. Pierce has got six points. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. Now, here is Webb. Tight defense on him, and he comes up with the deuce. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since does he take guys off the dribble. It's deflected, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. And Seattle making a change here. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Richmond. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Four Seattle, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Here's Kemp, and it's Kemp slamming it down. Kemp. Oh, and look at his man just go flying by him after the shot. And it might be humiliating for the defender, but it feels oh so good on the other side. My goodness. Webb kicks to Brown. Dishes it to Richmond. Up empty down low. Good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Sonics lead by four. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Oklahoma City. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Taking a look at the Supersonics, Kenny, what's your take? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense. Call some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage in the high 50s and expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? Welcome back to Oklahoma City, everyone. You can see Chesapeake Energy Arena there in the background as the cars stream down I-40. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the court for Sacramento. Six on the shot clock. Sonics leading by four. To the middle. Slam dunk by Kemp. Oh, phenomenal alley -oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Pass to Richmond. It's good. And uh, Seattle shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Let's go. And it's McMillan missing. Well, he carves out the space he needs. Just the finish was not good. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, the Kings signed some quality bets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steadying presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. Looking at 
Rodgers out there now for the Sox. McKee comes in for Pierce. And it's Johnson in for McMillan. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Peyton, that's good. And even with the height disadvantage, he finds a way to convert. Boy, you got to appreciate how confident he was in that instance. He doesn't allow the taller defender to stop him. He's saying, I'll take you on right now. Johnson outside. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Sacramento grabs the miss. Brown outside. Johnson. That's simply not aggressive enough. Needs to show grit and determination and didn't on that one. Pass to Kemp from 13. Seattle missing again. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. What a great job contesting without fouling. Exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. Kings check in for Seattle. McMillan comes in for Johnson. 115 left to play here in the third. Guarded by McKee. That one falls. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. For Seattle, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. Well, he just gets ahead of himself and throws it away, right? You've got to have better focus than that. The Kings trailing. He's covered by Kemp to the inside. And pushing it up is Seattle. And it's Kemp slamming it down. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Inside, Kemp with the steal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Seattle shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. A platoon swap here for Sacramento. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Kings trail by six. And a good opportunity here to go two for one. Let's see what they do here, Greg, right? Because you know they want to get a couple of possessions out of the time left. Richmond with the bucket. Yeah, the defense not closing out in time. He's too quick and too good to miss many of those. Aston McMillan. Don't have to be in a hurry. They can hold for the last one. And I think that's exactly what you'll see here, right? They don't want the other team getting that final look. And the pass to Webb. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for Webb. And so Webb nails both of them. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Seattle ahead. They lead by two. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got Kemp, also Pierce out there, and it's Benjamin in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the lineup out there for the Sonics. Wide open shot is on the money, and the Sonics lead by four. And, and guys on defense gasping for air at this point. For air and giving limited effort on the defensive end. Right now, it's all about the offense. Boy, the shooting has been off the charts. To the inside. Great pass 
to set up the way in. Oh, terrific pick. Then kicks it right ahead, turning defense into offense. Yeah, that's perfect in transition, right? He knew exactly what to do after picking that ball off. Here's Kemp. Got a piece of it. The feed to Buck. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Benjamin. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. So the team's changing it up here. He hits both from the strike. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Seattle Supersonics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Kicks it to Kemp. That shot misses. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Simmons on the wing. Inside, Kemp with the steal. Peyton outside. Outside, Pierce. Pass to Kemp. Knocked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Supersonics will retain possession. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, I'd like to see them mix it up a little bit. You've got to keep the opposition off balance. Sacramento making a switch here. Let's check in. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. He wants to change it up defensively and get more people packed into the paint. He said, they're beating us up down low. We have to put a stop to it. Let's see if they respond, Kevin. Now here's Simmons. Now Webb. left here in the fourth quarter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly a foul. First free throw is good and that narrows the lead down to just three. And he is unable to get the second one. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, still a one possession game. And slam dunk by Kemp. The communication between teammates on that alley. And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Here's Richman shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that shoots the margin to just four. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Here's Pierce. That's in coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. A nice assist. It's taken away by Peyton. Drops in the breakaway lane. And now an eight-point shot lead. And that just may put the finishing touch on this one. Not at all a time to get sloppy with the ball. Richmond for three. That's in. He's seven for 12 now in the game. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. You simply can't give him. Uh, you have to fight through the screen and at least get a hand in the face of the shooter. There's a minute left in the game. Can't waste a second now. And even then, there's still a little chance. No, exactly. They've got to act quickly. They don't have a ton of time to work with. Now here's Peyton. It's chipped. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. 35 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Richmond no good. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. you got to protect the rim. No, exactly, Craig. Especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. Here's Simmons. McKee with the defensive effort. Peyton outside. And 
so it's Seattle winning this one. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.